Egypt was one of the wealthiest and most civilized lands in ancient times. Historians have been able to gain a great deal of knowledge about ancient Egypt through the discoveries of mummies, tombs, and pyramids. While investigating ancient architecture, archaeologists have found that ancient Egyptians were extremely religious. Funerary remains are the most obvious and remarkable physical remnants from ancient Egypt. Whether pyramids, mummies, or Tutankhamun, it is a tomb and the things that come out of them which provide the most instantly recognizable and for most people defining examples of ancient Egyptianness. Within ancient Egypt, death was not seen as the last stage of life, but a period of rest, waiting for revivification and the afterlife. Preparation for the afterlife consisted of the dead being preserved through mummification and the construction of enormous pyramids that would house the tombs of Egyptian royalty. Within the Egyptian culture, there was a belief that the spirit of the dead lived on. Death was simply a temporary interruption rather than complete cessation of life and that eternal life could be ensured by means like piety to the gods, preservation of the physical form through mummification and the provision of statuary and other funeral equipment. Mummification was a long and complicated method of artificial preservation of the human body developed by ancient Egyptians. No area of earthly activity was left out of Egyptian salicious preparation of the future. Canopic jars carrying the deceased's organs, statues of the Egyptian gods, weapons, jewelry, and food were items that often accompany the dead within their tombs. The mummification process was lengthy, lasting up to 70 days. A priest would conduct the process and wear a mask of a jackal, which represented the Egyptian god Anubis. The body of the dead was purified by being washed, the organs were removed, and the body was filled with stuffing. Natron was used to absorb moisture and dry the body. Forty to fifty days later, the stuffing was removed and replaced with sawdust and linen. Egyptians believed that the heart was the mechanism of intelligence and emotion. Therefore, the heart was left inside the body. Strands of linen were used to wrap the body and cover with a shroud. The body was then placed in a sarcophagus and ready for burial. The interior walls of the tomb were painted with scenes that depicted the life of the deceased individual. Poor Egyptians were buried within the desert sand while the wealthy were buried in tombs. The more prominent a person was while they were living, the more extensive preparations were for their afterlife. Elaborate tombs were built for royalty and the wealthy. Painting and sculptures were created as gifts for the deceased. Belief in an afterlife caused Egyptian kings to build monumental pyramids in order to house their bodies upon death and usher them successfully into the afterlife. The construction of the pyramids that hosted tombs ranged, ranged from 2628 BC through 1638 BC. Within the pyramid text, an inscription on the interior wall of a pyramid states, stairs to the sky are laid for him that he may ascend thereon to the sky. There were approximately 50 royal pyramids that have survived. The most famous pyramids ever created are the Giza pyramids. The Giza pyramids were named after architects, three Egyptian kings, Khafu, Khafri, and Minakuri. These pyramids required huge labor forces, technical ingenuity, and craftsmanship to remain standing for more than 4,500 years. Egyptian employees, along with prisoners and slaves, made up the workforce that created these huge monuments. They were constructed to serve as both burial sites and memorials so that those who are buried will never be forgotten. The first and largest of the Giza pyramids was the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the sole surviving monument of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It is believed that the sole purpose of the Great Pyramid was to house the body of Egyptian King Khafu after his death, though this is yet to be proven. The construction of the Great Pyramid began in 2540 and took 23 years to complete. The scarcity of wood within the area left the Egyptians with the option of using sun-baked mud brick and limestone for building materials to construct the pyramid. 
At 478 feet, the Great Pyramid was the tallest structure throughout the world for nearly 4,000 years. Ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife belief in the afterlife led to the creation of some of the largest, most durable, and innovative architecture ever created. Thank you for watching my video.